What's up everybody, welcome back. We're in week 13 here of our Iron Man training for Iron Man Chattanooga. A few weeks from today, we'll be up in Maine, racing 70.3 Maine in Old Orchard Beach. So if you're just tuning in, that's where we're at, that's where we're coming from. For those returning subscribers, welcome back. It's been a little crazy around here, really haven't been able to keep you up to date weekly on things. We uh, last spoke, I think after weeks 10 and 11, and we were going into a recovery week of week 12 of training. We're now finishing another build week, week 13. This is the final block of training before we go up to Maine. Uh, things are just getting a little crazier. So as the weeks progress, you're doing more time, more miles, and we know what that means. There's only a certain number of hours in a week to get things done, so you have to kind of make some sacrifices in other places. So dealing with work, family, training, every other stressor that can come in with life, we're just trying to fit it all in. Training wise, we've been good. We've been checking the boxes, hitting those metrics, getting a couple big workouts in. We're now actually getting to the point where I'm doing workouts longer than I ever have in the past for prior races, just because it's the first time we're gonna make a full Ironman attempt this year. And we really haven't had to go into this volume of training or distances. So things are starting to get real right now. You can see a look up on the board over here, week 13 out of 20 training wise. And let's see how many days left we got. Main 70.3, we're 22 days away. And actually, believe it or not, this is the first time I just looked at this, 50 days till we're at Chattanooga and we're racing. I'm learning that it goes really quick, and I'm starting to also see in the last couple weeks, not only do you have this aspect of physical training, and this is what we're gonna talk about today a little more, why I wanted to get on here, it, there's definitely another component to the training besides the physical aspect, and that's the mental aspect. Being able to realize that you're gonna be out there for 10 plus hours, 12 plus hours, 16 hours possibly, and it's gonna be a long day. You don't know what the day is gonna bring. You don't know what the weather's gonna be like. You don't know how hot it's gonna be, how cold it's gonna be. You don't know if the swim's gonna be canceled and that throws a wrench in everything during the day. You just don't know what that day brings. And there's something I heard recently that is really helping me this past week. Comprehend and just get over any of that anxiety you have about race day. Because during your training, whether you have a coach or not, you can control basically that aspect of it. You can look at the weather ahead, you can look at your schedule, you can look at your work schedule, you can plan out this perfect week of training, hit all seven days, check all the boxes, and feel great about it. But when you do that for 19 or 20 weeks, you get so accustomed to having things go your way, where race day comes, and you have to do that distance, and the, that day, that swim, that bike, that run, no ifs, ands, or buts. Doesn't matter what it is outside. Doesn't matter what happened the night before. Doesn't matter that you didn't sleep or, something happened the day before, you can't change that day to a different day. So something I heard this week, which is really helping me get through that type of uh, mental preparation for this, is you gotta look at yesterday or the past and you, you can't really live in that. So when you get that workout done or that PR workout, you just can't live in that moment anymore. It's in the past. That great race you had a couple weeks ago, or last year, or a couple years ago, you can't live in that moment anymore. That moment is gone. You could definitely revisit that moment from time to time. Remember how you did and try and repeat that effort. But you have to really live in today. You can only really worry about today. You cannot plan, well you can plan for the future, but just glance at it. Race day. Yeah, you're gonna prepare for it, you're gonna pack, you're gonna do, you're gonna have a plan, you're gonna have a nutrition plan. But for right now, when it's still, you know, it's 50 days out, just glance at it. I have the race up here, the swim, the bike, the run broken down, kind of where I wanna be throughout the course, throughout the day, you know, I'm giving that some thought, but I'm just gonna glance at it right now. I can't live in that and not worry about today. What I can do though, to prepare for that, and to hopefully make that go the best as possible is, live in today. What's today's workout? Wake up in the morning, see what you have, get that done, only worry about today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about that 80 mile, 100 mile bike ride that you might have the next day. That daunting task or that long six hour workout. If you only have an hour, hour and a half today, worry about today. Just look at tomorrow, prepare for it, but really don't give it much thought until the time comes. So that's my thing that's kind of getting me through right now and just getting through these workouts. They're becoming a little longer throughout the week. So as long as I live in today, not live in the past, 
and just glance at the future, hopefully we'll have a good day. We'll have a good preparation leading into race day and things will, things will go really well. Where have we been at for recovery week? Had a great week, kind of refreshed the body a little bit. We're doing pretty good with that. I want to say congratulations to everybody that was up at Lake Placid. You guys killed it that day. Super motivating, all the local teams that were up there and all the local athletes. The plan going forward is simply this. We have Maine in three weeks. We're gonna have another build this week. We have a really big workout planned, a nice hilly bike ride towards the end of the week, long bike ride. We're gonna go upstate and get some miles in, get a nice training day in. We kind of booked the day away. Just gonna get some work done up there. The following week, we're gonna have another good week. It's not gonna be probably as long because after that, we have to taper down into racing at Maine. After Maine, what we're gonna look at is at least one more really long bike ride get some good efforts in, and then probably take that week and a half, two weeks right before the race to really limit down the volume and go into Ironman Chattanooga. Hopefully rested, strong, feeling confident, and have a great day out there. All right, so this past week, we really didn't get too much video of what's going on. Maybe I'll throw some snippets in here throughout this video just so you can see where we've been at. But we did do a really awesome training day early this week with my buddy Jason who's going to be racing Ironman Maryland a week before me. It's something that neither one of us have done before. I've done brick workouts before, some double bricks before, but never like this, which was a multi-layered brick. And what that is, is we started off early in the morning. We went out with a one mile warm up run that kind of freshened the legs up, just got the blood flowing, got the heart rate up kind of simulating doing some kind of activity before the bike because we weren't able to swim that morning. So it's just simulating getting those legs moving and having to get on the bike as opposed to just being fresh and getting on the bike in the morning for a training day. Once we got on the bike, we did a 40 mile out and back. That gave us a nice bulk two hour ride to start fueling. Once we got back to the starting point, we went transitioned into a two mile run, decent effort. Once we were done with that, we did a 20 mile bike again, another hour out, practiced that fueling, came back, another two mile run, out again on the bike, 20 more miles, came back, finished up with a nice 5K afterwards. So all in all, it was about 80 miles of biking and about eight to nine miles running. At the end of the day, what we're looking at, I think it was almost a six hour workout. Pretty solid day, it just helped us push our legs a little further without having to do that like a hundred mile bike ride for the day because that last 20 mile bike definitely felt some fatigue in the legs and also practice fueling being out there five or six hours continually fueling with what we're going to use on race day to see how we felt make sure we didn't have any cramping and thankfully the weather cooperated that morning i would rather have been a little hotter because that's probably what it's going to be on race day but it was a little cool out that helped us out big time so we were able to get it done that day that was the big workout this past week we were able to get three swims in my goal going forward with the swimming is just to continue to build volume, try and get some of those 2.4 mile swims in in the next few weeks and see how we feel. Chattanooga is a downstream swim. It's a point to point. So there should be a little current with that swim. And it's very tough where we swim out in the bay is there is a current in one direction. So as we swim, we are with the current in one direction and against the current when we go back. How I'm getting over that training for the distance is kind of going by time now so if i want to go out there and swim since the current can be all over the map that night it's just what am i doing am i going out for a quick half hour am i doing 45 minutes am i doing an hour and just getting consistent stroke rates down for that entire time frame and we'll probably work ourselves up to about an hour and a half a couple times and that should simulate being 2.4 miles even if we don't exactly hit that distance out in the bay that night so that's where we are with our training. That's where we're going. We're gonna be finishing up this week tomorrow with a 15 mile run. I'm gonna meet my buddy Kevin out east again. We're gonna hit that little devil's horn segment with some hills out in Port Jeff. Uh, I wanna thank him again. He's training for the marathons this year and it's awesome to link up even with people that are just running for your run workouts, cyclists for your cycling workouts. That's how you get stronger. Where we're at, we're gonna be going into week 14 next week. We'll try and bring back another video. Uh, I do have a some reviews that I want to do on some new products that I got. We got a new new pair of sneakers that we're probably going to wear for the main race, which I'd like to go over about that, let you know what we're thinking about. Definitely out of the box type of thing for me. It's a type of shoe I haven't tried recently. And don't forget, we're also 
have some affiliates now that we're linked with that are trying to help pass on some discounts to the community that's following here. Uh, Expand Laces, thank you. The Magic 5 Swim Goggle. Infinite Nutrition, thank you as well. And don't forget Road ID. Don't leave home without it. Every day, whenever you leave the house, attach it to your watch. It has your emergency contact information on it. I'll give you the links to those affiliates down below. You can also check it on the website, giveitatry.com under affiliates in the top right link. All right, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, give a thumbs up to like the video. Hit that subscribe button down below so you get notified of the future videos. When we get to Maine, we're going to take a bunch of footage pre-race, during the race, and post-race. Show you the vibe up there as well, what type of race it is. And we'll have a full race report and review once we get back. So keep that training going forward. Keep after it. Don't forget to balance that life one mile at a time. And stay tuned for the next one.